Saturday night, it's Louisville at West Virginia with plenty on the line for both teams. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. And in terms of the Louisville Cardinals and Rick Pitino, not just a one seed in the NCAA tournament that they may still be fighting for, possibly a one seed in the Big East tournament as well. Take a look at the scenarios, and of course they'll know about it because it's all based on what happens in the UConn-Pitt game Saturday afternoon. But if Pittsburgh beats UConn and Louisville can win at West Virginia, then the Cardinals would have the one seed in the Big East tournament next week. Let's bring in CBS College Sports' Steve Lapis to break down the game between the Cardinals and the Mountaineers. And Steve, let's start with Louisville here. Uh, do you think they still have a shot? Forget the Big East tournament for right now just for a sec, but to have a one seed in the NCAA tournament. I think everyone who's in that position, waiting in the wings, Michigan State, Memphis, Louisville, that they have to, Duke, they have to feel like if they keep winning, they have a chance because of what's happened to the top teams all year. What happened to Oklahoma last night? So they just want to keep winning, and I'm sure they're holding out hope that they could be a one seed. Well, they have beaten West Virginia earlier this year. That was at home. They won by six in a game that uh, neither team played particularly well, especially offensively. This one at West Virginia where the Mountaineers are very tough. What's the key to this ball game? Well, the big key to this ball game is going to be West Virginia not turning the ball over because Louisville is one of the best in the Big East at stealing the ball. And I got to think, though, at West Virginia that West Virginia is going to do a good job of not turning it over. They're one of the best in the nation, only average about 12 turnovers a game. But they're going to be tested in this game in terms of keeping that ball, keeping possession of the ball. And, and that'll come down to, to some of the freshmen in this. We know for West Virginia, Steve, that a senior Alex Ruoff, who will you know get a nice send-off on senior night, junior Deshaun Butler, they are the guy that make this team go but the other guys that have played very well and stepped up three freshmen when you look at uh, Jones and, and Brian and Ebanks have they done enough and shown you enough this year that, to say that West Virginia can go far in the postseason I don't know if West Virginia can go far in this postseason they're going to be in the NCAA tournament no doubt but I'll tell you what this is a team of the future without a doubt those three freshmen are their third fourth and fifth high scores and they have played just great and like most freshmen play better at home than on the road all right, Steve, one other thing on this game here is the fact that, uh, you know, for West Virginia, you said they're going to be in the tournament. Uh, they're trying to prevent Louisville from getting the one seed in the NCAA tournament. Who do you like to win? I like West Virginia at home in this game. It was a war last time. Both teams are great defensively. I just think West Virginia will make enough shots in this game to beat Louisville. Well, that is the key. Can they make shots? That's been the problem when they lose all season long. Steve Lapis, thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All right, folks, don't forget, Selection Sunday is a week from this Sunday, and be sure to watch every game from the first round to the NCAA championship live online for free with NCAA March Madness On Demand. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. For CBS College Sports, Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.